that would hit a young player in the chest at the right location, which is right in the middle of the sternum, okay, the breastbone, at the right time in the cardiac cycle, which happens to technically, for all you technical cardiac people out there, so-called the peak of the T wave, that is when the heart is recovering from its beat electrically. If you hit that vulnerable portion of the timing of the heartbeat, you could actually get set up an arrhythmia that could be fatal. And watching the replay, it was a direct hit um, that he was actually part of to, to stop the player uh, and make the tackle. And it was a, a direct hit of a helmet right onto the middle of the chest. Now, we typically uh, do not, there's a Latin name for this that many people have started to hear. It's called commotio cordis, which means commotion of the heart. Uh, and the rhythm disturbance is basically a commotion, meaning that the rhythm that's set up is just chaotic. And when that happens, you basically have to start uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR really immediately. Uh, if you don't, you don't get blood flow to the brain. And fast forward from an NFL game to our community, we really struggle uh, with the knowledge of CPR and the application of automated uh, external defibrillators, so-called AEDs, in our communities. So I would say that this is a call for everyone to understand that chest contact uh, can be dangerous, number one. And number two, we all need to, to know CPR. We all need to have CPR in our communities and know where our AEDs are to try to shock people. The good news is uh, he did get some people to get some you know, some CPR going fairly quickly. If it's more than three minutes, it might be diffi more difficult recovery, more prolonged recovery, uh, less uh, total recovery. On the other hand, uh, he's young and he's an incredibly fit elite athlete. So if anyone has a chance to come through a difficult uh, situation like this, it would be uh, this young man.